One of our most frequently asked questions is, what does Mike do? And I give him a hard time about that because I'm like, what do you do when I'm at work? Which right now I'm off work and it's very nice, but he is an amazing cook and he gets these ideas in his head of things to do. So today you've made cinnamon rolls on the Blackstone and he's about to whip up some breakfast burritos. Okay, that'll be $5.85. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good prices for today's age. Well, you know. I yeah. think this bought you another year of marriage. I'll keep you around. Another year? Yeah. For cooking breakfast? Yeah, it's pretty big. Dude, I'm gonna be set then. <laughs> I can do a towing at 10 miles an hour. This mm -hmm. isn't bad at all. At least we know it's a controlled burn. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Callie. Hi, Callie. Hi, Callie. I'm ready to go explore. Ahead. Oh my goodness. It must be a controlled burn, maybe. Maybe. This is wild. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of rangers. Oh there you can oh, see yeah. the fire there's right, stuff right there. here. And I can smell it. Mm -hmm. That's gotta be, I guess it's such a controlled burn. I could see that for miles. I really didn't expect to see like actual fire, the actual source of it. I thought it was clouds at first, but... Yeah. One vague sign. One vague sign. Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke ahead. Smoke ahead across highway. Oh. Okay. Half an hour out. Put up a sign. Welcome back, Mike and Steph. So crazy. We're here. All right. We're still in site 191, so okay. onward and upward. Ready? Ready, ready. Okay. This might be. Is this the longest we stayed at one RV park? Uh, probably. I think so. We lived here for five months in 2020, which is crazy. Which is crazy to think of. But we left here in January of 21. So we've really only been gone a year. Ooh, activities on the 4th. There's an ice cream cart on the 5th, chocolate fudge day. On the 8th, there's a ladies luncheon. On the 14th, there's a Valentine's party. Oh. You take me on a hot date to the RV park Valentine's party? No. Oh. So nice out. So excited to be back here. Yeah, we really like this RV park. So All right. now for the setup. Well, good morning. Good morning. We're at one of our favorite RV parks here in Citra, Florida, Grand Lake RV Park. If you guys have been following along with us, you know that we have stayed here for quite a while, what, in 2020? Yeah, we stayed here for five months. I was on assignment in Ocala and it kind of became our home. We were doing our Florida tour, as we're calling it, and we decided that we we're gonna come stay here for a little bit longer and get some R&R in and uh, get a bunch of editing done. It's been really nice to be back here. Mike and I were talking about when you're on the road full time, it's incredible, but it's so nice to have those places that you can just go back to and just be comfortable. We call it our home here, our home away from home. We don't have a house anymore and we full time RV. So it's really nice to have a place that we are comfortable with and see some old friends and meet some new ones. So it's been really nice to be here. We got right back in our routine and we rented a golf cart again this time. We did, we splurged a little. And we've been walking every morning, taking Callie to the dog park. And speaking of Callie, she's a little impatient because she's ready to go for her morning cruise. She got stuck halfway through. A 
few changes since the last time we stayed here. Absolutely, yeah. So they moved the dog park. It's like twice as big now and divided. Yes. Which is nice. Uh, also, when we were here in 2020, they weren't doing any of the activities, and now they're doing so many activities. So many activities. And we're kind of slackers. We've been treating this as more of a rest and relaxation, like Mike said, <laughs> time. We haven't been to any, but there's dancing and sewing and bingo and karaoke and all kinds of stuff. Zumba. All kinds of yoga. fun stuff. So if you're here for an extended period of time, there's gonna be tons of stuff for you to do. There's also a pool, which if it's gonna hit the 85 it says it's gonna hit today, we might have to hit up the pool. <laughs> so we've enjoyed it here. It does feel like home to us here. So yeah. that's important for us on the road to find a place that we really enjoy. Yeah. So what are we doing after this? That's the question. <laughs> If you haven't been here before, I'm a travel nurse. I have taken the last two months off and it's been really great, but it's time. We're starting to look for another contract. So we'll let you guys know when we figure out where we're going, but we really don't know yet. If you guys have been following along, you will have seen our Fort Wilderness video, the best way to see Disney in an RV. I really think so, honestly. If you missed the video, it's up here. Give it a click. Um, but you know there's a lot of other theme parks in Orlando area. We're not too far from the Orlando area. There's at so, least one major one other than Disney. Which might be Stephanie's favorite over Disney. Controversial topic here, but. And we may be going to an area close to the other large theme park and taking the camper. Stay tuned because we're hoping to show you guys the best way to camp and see this other theme park. Hmm. Teaser. Any guesses what the theme park is? Drop it below. If you guys watched our Flagler Beach video, you'll know that we had some issues going down a road that had a low clearance warning. And we think the camper is about 11 and a half feet. And we haven't measured it in a while. So we're gonna measure it. This is something you should do if you're driving a camper. Make sure you know how tall you are. Don't ground? be like us. Sorry. <laughs> It on the ground. Okay. So we're about 11 foot. Okay. So we'll say 11 and a half. All right. So we were right. Definitely not eight foot nine or whatever it was in Flagler. Yeah. Nice catch. Ho 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 ho. We doing this? I don't know, are we doing this? I'm not sure. Okay. Do you want to do this? I want to. Okay. What's the first thing that you need to do? Check my mirrors. Make sure my tow mode is on. Tow, tow mode, mode activated. And also? Parking brake. Trailer brake. Turn off your built-in sway control. Oh. Oh, there's Karen. Oh, you try. I don't normally, but we're giving it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make myself do like little spurts of it. <laughs> you, I won't. <laughs> well, I pray that you have safe travels. Thank you. Was, and that we meet again sometime. Yeah. It was really nice meeting you guys. It was. All right. All right. We'll see you next see time, all right? Yeah. Oh, oh, man. They're so nice. They're so nice. They invited Karen us and Ray, to. If you watch this, we're so glad we met you. <laughs> they invited us to come boondock in New Hampshire where they live. So we may take you guys up on that offer. <laughs> okay, I guess we're ready. Are you okay? Nope. Okay, away we go. So if you can't tell, I don't tow like ever. I've towed on the interstate once. I think we'll try this one. But, you know, heaven forbid, Mike break his foot or I kick him out of the camper and then I have to tow it myself. It's good for me to get some practice. So we thought we would take advantage of this large parking lot and practice. Just remember, you cut, cut right, camper goes left. Left is right and right is left and I'm really big. And uh, don't jackknife it. <laughs> yeah. So I set up four Lego blocks, four of our stabilizer blocks back there. Just treat it like a campsite. <laughs> Try to get it in between. No, a campsite should be a pull through only. <laughs> it's true. Straighten up, straighten up. 
Come on back. You got this. Come on. Hey, look at that. Woo! Do I pass? You pass. One backing up and I pass? One backing up, that's all you needed. How bad did it look? Not too bad. So I think Just the main towing, thing towing is to go it. slow and get a big parking lot like this and practice a little bit. But the main thing, even for me, it's been towing for four years now. That's what I always tell myself, like, just go slow. A little shaky. A little shaky? <laughs> a little shaky. All right, this no more This is nerve-wracking. I don't yeah, know how you do it. Yeah. And there's no one around me. Like, the worst that would happen, it, has, it would have ran over one of our Lego blocks, which we do intentionally sometimes. Hey, good job. Good job, Callie. Good job, Callie. Good job. High five. <laughs> like you have to have a treat. All right, I'm gonna grab those and we can roll out. And I'll drive? No. <laughs> You've had your limit of Steph driving today. Uh, hey, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. Okay, now just don't break your legs so we have to do this for real or something. Okay. I'm yeah. done. That's my stressful event for the day. That's I'm done now. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> I was gonna say, do you want to talk about where we're actually going? We're going to, I'm gonna say it, Lake Louisa State Park. Hey! We've also had this one booked for a couple weeks, so it gave, gives them time to remember. And the reason why we're going to Lake Louisa is because Steph is obsessed with Universal Studios. We're going to test it out and see if it's one of the best ways to see Universal in a camper. In a camper. So Disney has a campground, Fort Wilderness. We stayed there recently. Awesome experience. Video is up here if you haven't caught it. But Universal Studios does not have a campground. So we're going to test out this state park and see if it's the best way to camp at Universal. For Universal. Not at Universal. It's going to be a way. A way. But we'll see. We'll see. If you guys have a camper and a partner, do you guys both tow? Does one person primarily tow? Seems like usually the husband drives or the Not boyfriend. always. We have friends where the, the female drives, tows. Yeah. Not me. Not her. I'm not a bad driver. You've I'm just, towed before. Yeah, I just now. You. I towed you. I towed you so. You towed? Okay, you did a good job. I'm proud of you. Okay, you ready? Look how dirty that windshield is. Open your ears. Ah. <laughs> alright, alright. Now you think the fire alarms are going off in the camp? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Steph with caffeine, da da da. Just kidding, it's decaf. Yes. <sighs> Let's start that again. I hated every bit of what I just I did. Don't. Yeah, I don't know. Mike, don't use this part. <laughs> 